Hi, good morning. It is Sunday and um, I'm getting ready to head out. I did all my cleaning this morning because like yesterday carrying in groceries and stuff messed up my the old, the old gel polish. So I was like, I better clean before I get the new nails put on. So um, I vacuumed and mopped and ooh, I didn't dust. I forgot to do that. But I did clean the bathroom. So I did the like more intensive stuff. And I, um, I feel like there's a hair on my nose. Anyways, I was like sweaty and gross. And anyways, now I'm getting ready to go out to that salon to get the gel manicure. And my mom is currently driving up to Oregon. I don't think I mentioned that yesterday. She and my dad are driving up there together actually. They're going to visit my sister for about a week. So yeah, they are on the way up and my mom brought along her dog Mia. So there's gonna be a lot of animals at my sister's house. I mean, there's usually a lot of animals because they have three dogs, two cats, chickens in the backyard, chinchillas in a separate bedroom. They're nocturnal. And now there's gonna be Mia. Oh well, what's one more dog at that point? Anyways. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna head out in a little bit, about 20 minutes or so, start driving downtown to the nail appointment, and I'll see you later. Bye. Then with the manicure, I was doing that like forced negative thinking, and I did get a little nervous at the beginning, but not too bad, <laughs> which is good. So I actually, I was thinking I was gonna get like a pink and the glittery color, but I went with the red and the glittery color. It looks a little Christmassy, plus the names of them are Christmassy. Um, the red one is like something about Santa and then the glittery one is my favorite ornament So they're from Christmas collections, but that's fine. I like it. It's pretty still pretty um overcast today <laughs> um, Overcast and it was actually drizzling a little bit when I drove here So um, I think I'm gonna get lunch. I might go back to the cheese shop I was just there yesterday, but I kind of want to get their peach summer salad and then maybe a sandwich, like a salad and a sandwich, you know? And um, I'm trying to figure out with a friend, we might go kayaking tomorrow, which would be awesome. It's scary, but awesome. So that that would be cool. So <laughs> we'll figure that out. And then um, I need to make cheesecakes too. I invited him over for cheesecakes, so we'll see what we end up doing. It's cold. We've got chocolate salted caramel, churro with little churros, cookie, cocoa cookie dough, peaches and cream, and my favorite, the old standby chocolate blackberry syrup, and blueberry mojito. So those are the flavors. And I like those ones too. This guy who works at Say Cheese was just so funny. I just picked up lunch there and I'm gonna go around the corner to go to Handlebar and check out the coffee they have there. Anyways, I was apolog well, just mentioning how difficult it is to parallel park on the left side of the street because that's like really difficult for us. Normally we parallel park on the right side of the street, but there are a ton of one-way streets around here. So, you know, you, you gotta parallel park on the left and it's just really hard. And like I had a foot and a half or two feet of space between me and the curb. I kept trying to fix it. Anyways, he was hilarious because he kept saying, girl, you know, you can do whatever you want on Sundays. Apparently um, the rules where they say 15 minute parking don't apply, the 75 minute rules, even the commercial loading areas, the yellow curbs, they don't apply. Like none of the rules apply on Sundays. They don't enforce it except for like red curbs are disabled or something. Anyways, I thought that was really interesting and he was just hilarious how he kept saying, girl, you park where you want. Anyways, don't care about how you park. Um, so I'm gonna go to this coffee shop called Handlebar. It's a little bit hipster um, and a bunch of people who bicycle like come here and buy stuff here. So they've got this bicycle parking. I think they like got into a thing with the city about taking away street parking and putting bicycle parking. So here we go, Handlebar Coffee Roasters. And they're probably gonna have a big bike theme. Oh, and there's like no line, that's cool. Got a big roaster here. A lot of seating, some pastries. Hi, good, how are you? Um, may I have a vanilla latte? home it is cold out so I've got my sweatshirt on again today just like yesterday kind of overcast and chilly um so I picked up lunch today I went to say cheese which I know I was just there yesterday but yesterday 
I, I don't know. I came home and ate leftovers for lunch, and today I was like, okay, now I'll get some food. And this is going to be my lunch and dinner, actually, because it's too much food. So... This is the turkey and fig sandwich. It's kind of like a panini because they press it. So it's got some cheese. Can I don't know if you can see. There's like a layer of cheese down towards the bottom. A lettuce, turkey, and then fig jam. And then it comes with a small side salad, which I really don't like too much. And then this is their seasonal peachy cane salad. Yum! Um, it's got peaches, some cheese, lettuce, the dressing, and maybe some little nuts in there. I really, really like to get the seasonal salads at Say Cheese. I have gotten all of their seasonal ones, I think, over the past year. Because I first got the peachy keen one. I was like, that's good. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of salads in general. <laughs> like, But when they have good ingredients and good dressing and stuff, it just tastes good, you know? So, um, yeah, I like the summer salad. I've had their fall one and then, like, the winter one. It was it's either fall or winter harvest. One of them I did not like. I didn't like the dressing. I don't know why I'm whispering it or getting quiet about not liking it. It's not like they're here. <laughs> but I didn't like it. And then, um, so after I got my nails done, I went down to enjoy cupcakes. And they were busy. Like, the public market was busy. It's just this whole weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. There are a ton of, like, tourists and people out and about. Yesterday at the grocery stores and the farmer's market, it was busy. Today, it's been busy. Just all these people around. And you can kind of tell what the tourists look like. They... You can tell. You can tell. Anyways, um, so I went to enjoy cupcakes. That's what I was saying. <laughs> there was a line because, you know, it was busy. And I got their cupcake flight, which is a pricey little sucker. Six mini cupcakes for $10, but I thought there were some good flavors this week. They change the flavors every week, but they do always keep their tried and true blackberry syrup, which is actually my favorite. So... <laughs> so here we go. The cute little cupcakes. I remember your churro. The one with like the cinnamon sugar churro. I think that was cookie dough something. This one, I don't remember. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video or I can actually just go on to their like Instagram account and they announce it every week what the flavors are. So they're little but um, cute and it's fun. It's fun to try out the flavors. So there we go. And then I um, need to start making plans for tomorrow for... Um, doing stuff with my friend. I had invited my friend Mike, um, who lives very close by. Um, he's the guy who I went um, ice skating with, with him and his partner uh, last weekend, I think. And um, I had invited him over to come over for cheesecakes because I was gonna make these little mini cheesecakes and put strawberries on it. And I've, I've never had him over, like he's invited me over and I've gone over, but I've never ex returned the invitation, you know, which is rude. So, um, I was gonna have him come over and so I'm not sure if we're gonna do that plus plus kayaking tomorrow or what we're gonna do but um I've I got it in my mind that I wanted to go kayaking this weekend and I was gonna go with Yakabo but he has to work on his paper so that he can graduate and get his master's degree so <laughs> that's priority anyways um yeah I kind of have it in my mind the only concern is I just spent all this money on my nails <laughs> I don't want them to get ruined, especially before um, the meeting that I have on Tuesday morning at work. The important meeting. So, um, I'm going to have some of my sandwich. This is, again, lunch and dinner. It's just so filling. Um, but it'll be good. It'll be yummy. All right. Um, also, handlebar coffee roasters. Um, this is the cup that I got. Their vanilla latte is okay. It's decent, you know. Um, it tastes a little bit different than the French press. Of course, that's because they use totally different beans. I like that both companies are local. You know, they started here and they roast their own beans and then like sell their own beans and you can kind of see them packaging the beans actually at Handlebar. At French press, they they roast their beans at their Anacapa location. They have three locations. They're on State nearby Anthropology. They're on Anacapa nearby the Farmer's Market. And then they're in Goleta next to UCSB. And that's one I usually go to. Um, yeah, and they roast their own beans at the Anacapa location. And then Handlebar, they were packaging them. And I could see them doing that while I was there. So, yeah, yeah. Cool places, though. You know, if you like good coffee and you, you acquire the taste for it. You know, because Starbucks is way too sweet. 
especially after getting used to this stuff. It's way too sugary there. Um, this stuff is good. So anyways, um, I'll see you later. Bye. I sort of get a kick out of this, how someone likes to sit on top of the, um, the cat scratching thing and just sit there and he's like a little owl. He just sits and he watches and um, Stitch has never done that. Actually, he never used to go to the top of this thing. We got this when Stitch was a kitten. And Fig, ever since he's been here, he just likes to sit up there. What do you do? What do you do? You just watch the world? <laughs> you like it, Fig? The boys have been napping. Ever since I got back from like downtown today, they've just been sleeping and sleeping. Although this one's trying to beg for food, but I said, it's not dinner time. You don't get your dinner yet. <laughs> hey there, so I am uh, making some mini cheesecakes right now. And um, they're just the six mini cheesecakes. I have them in the oven for, ooh, the timer went off, hang on. <laughs> Here's the, the uh, cheesecakes, the six cheesecakes. So you just take the cream cheese and the recipe I found, it was really easy. You just add um, one egg, some white sugar, and then vanilla extract. And you blend it together. And yeah, there. Hello, good morning, and happy Memorial Day. Today is Monday, it's Memorial Day. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure about my plans for today. My mom and dad safely made it to Oregon yesterday. I feel like there's another hair again today on my face. Um, they arrived around 3 p.m., so yeah, they made it up there. They're safe and sound. And now they've got um, like a, a couple days to spend with my sister, so it's great. Right now, actually, at nine o'clock, they're going strawberry picking. So it's Allison, my mom, Mackenzie, and little baby Liz. <laughs> they're I imagine my sister will wear Liz. She has these baby wearing things. So, so that's what's going on with them. And I was thinking of kayaking today. Um, I had wanted to first go with my friend Yukabo, but he couldn't. And then Mike was like thinking about doing it. And now, now I feel like maybe I'll just wait until another weekend to do it. And today instead, I was thinking just doing some other like errands and then maybe getting some exercise and walking up and down the pier because um, I need to get some steps in. It's harder on the weekends to get exercise, at least for me. When I'm at work, I'm walking up and down the hallways and down the stairs and on my lunch break, I go on a walk and then I go out to puppy playtime in the afternoon. That's when like students and faculty and staff who are allowed to have dogs on campus um, or who don't get in trouble for bringing it into their building, they bring their dogs out and they all play together. So um, yeah, on the weekends, I have to put more effort into walking and getting some exercise. So yeah, I was thinking about going to um, Fig. thinking about going to the Goleta Pier and walking down it it's kind of a long pier and it's actually right nearby the rental so I was thinking I could always go to the rental people and ask them more info about like the kayaks and what would I need to bring to be prepared and do you offer life vest rentals and what do you do with your cell phone do you have like I think it's called a dry pack or something like that so Fig is going crazy and running around a little bit <laughs> in case you saw that he's he's got the crazies it happens multiple times a day with him. Stitch, not so much, but Fig, yes, he'll he'll run around. Um, hi, Fig. Did you just go potties? It kind of smells like you just went potties. Yeah. You have the after potties crazies. <laughs> You're running around. You're running around. You are. I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's a store, if you're unfamiliar, they um, they saw a little bit of everything. <laughs> um, so at Bed Bath & Beyond, they have like sheets and kitchen stuff. And then they also have like toothbrushes here. Cause I got toothbrush refills from my Sonicare here once. And um, what else did I recently? I got my Ninja Blender here. Not that one, but I got a Ninja Blender here once. Oh look, they've got French presses. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go over to the gadgets, like the little kitchen gadgets. I need to look for a mixing bowl. Um, I wish I could find like a cute bowl to put all my fruit in, but I don't know, I haven't really found one like that. And then um, I was thinking for maybe like, when you have cheese and you want it to be kind of thin, but not little, like not like a cheese grater, I wanna find, I don't know what to call it, like a plain, a planer? I don't know, I wanna find something like that. So I just went to Michael's, got a frame for a certificate. I'll show you later when I get home. 
Um, right now I'm just gonna ooh, look at all the gadgets. I feel like maybe I should get a larger cookie pan because I had a small one. I have small ones because my old um, in my old studio the the oven was small. It was a tiny little oven, and you couldn't use a large cookie tray on it. Oh, I don't need a cookie tray. Okay. Um, they just have so much. Let me show you. Let me show you the wall of stuff. So this is more of the gadget tree stuff. There we've got places for napkins. Oh, I should actually buy napkins. I just use paper towels nowadays. Anyways, um, it, it's kind of hard to stay focused here. I get so distracted as you can tell. These are like the, the baking supplies, thermometers. I've got a thermometer. It's not a fancy one, but it'll do. They have little pizza cutters, stuff for fruits and vegetables. Oh, is that, no, that's not what I want. That's a microplane. Okay, no, I do not want that. I want something else to cut my cheese up. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Oh, little things for your um, utensils, like for your, you know, flippy things. Ooh, I could use a new flippy thing, actually, because mine are crappy and old. I don't know, I call them flippy things. Anyways, um, and so, much stuff. So many options. Colanders. Hey, I just arrived at Goleta Beach. I am planning to walk along the pier and um, get some exercise and look at the water. It's kind of overcast still all weekend, of course. So um, I'm in the parking lot right now. There's the pier. You can see there's a boat out there. And then some people are, I think, barbecuing and stuff over there. It is Memorial Day after all. And then here's the restaurant beachside, which I'm not a big fan of, but um, it's got a nice view because you're right next to the water. And then UCSB is up there. There's my workplace. And here's the entrance to the pier. They have this shop that sometimes sells like candy and stuff. It never really seems to have much business. And then this is um, part of the beach side. I never see them with this part open, but um, you can see they have like these glass um, dividers so when people are sitting they can look outside and they have um, bathrooms over to the left and they also have other bathrooms actually like throughout the beach well I think there's one or two down there just a bunch of quiet people fishing <laughs> we've got a nice view of UCSB I see my building the white one Right next to the entrance and Stork Tower. And that's got a campus point over there. It's just very quiet today. <laughs> a lot of these guys going around trying to steal people's food. It makes me feel dizzy looking this way, actually. I don't like the water current going that way. It makes me feel like I'm moving. So um, I just walked to the pier. It was okay, a little bit boring. <laughs> it's very quiet, a lot of people fishing. I've never seen so many people trying to fish there. There were two little Shizu puppies that I pet belonged to someone, um, very cute little dogs. And I was thinking I might go over to the place where they rent the um, stand-up paddle boards and kayaks and stuff like that and just ask them some questions in case I want to do it in the future so this is the place where you can rent your water sport stuff from <laughs> there's some kayaks over there and there's a sign saying sup stand up paddle word kayak surf rentals and this looks like the office where you do that and these are the prices the walk-in prices are more expensive than if you reserve it online. There's some stand-up paddle boards, kayaks. More stand-up paddle boards. Oh, and then some rules. Oh, you do wear a life jacket. Do not paddle under the pier. Don't go under the pier. Well, that people are fishing there. And they say stay away from waves at point. That's at campus point. And the winds go that way. Huh. Hi there. How's it going? 
Good, how are you? Doing well. Good for you. Um, I just had questions. I was thinking about doing a tandem kayak with a friend, uh -huh. eventually, maybe next weekend or something. And I was wondering if there's anything you need to do to be prepared, like what to wear, what to bring. Do you need like a dry bag? Um, so if you want to like bring a camera or a phone, yeah. you can bring a dry bag. Okay. Um, we don't have like plastic there, bags. I am home now, and um, I just wanted to show you what I got while I was out and about. Um, the stuff I got at Bed Bath and Beyond, and there were definitely some tempting items there. But I was like, okay, let's try to try to keep it keep it responsible. So I got mixing bowls, which is something I had wanted. So I've just got three mixing bowls. I actually prefer the mixing bowl I have right now that has um like this little thingy on the bottom, this plastic that keeps it from sliding. But I think this this will be fine, these three bowls. So now I'll have more bowls for mixing and, you know, preparing meals. And then I got a nice flippy thing. Uh, Turner is what they call it. And um, I'll show you what I have. I actually have some stinky old stuff. So when I moved into my old studio, my boyfriend at the time got me, like, this set from Sears with, like, you know, these... I don't know, these flippy things and then some pots and pans and none of them are in great condition, but um, that's what I have. So I think maybe I'll slowly, gradually replace it. So anyways, this is this is a nice one. And then I got a big cheese grater. Right now I have this one flat thing that you hold that grates stuff. And um, I think it's actually, is it more like this surface? I don't know. But I thought this would work because I wanted to actually cut cheese with something like this anyway so it's got a slicing surface i don't know all these different things and then it has a box at the bottom and this you can actually store inside the uh grater and then um later on when you want to grate stuff you can use it to help measure how much you've got and also just to kind of keep it clean underneath so you don't i don't know have a dirty surface and then i just saw parchment paper and thought huh that might be neat i could use it when i'm cooking things to kind of to keep the um cookie sheet cleaner maybe yeah and the item that i really wanted to get was at michael's i wanted to get a frame for this uh, certificate i just got at work i'm trying to cover up my last name there the michael's receipt it just says this is just a certified that I have met the requirements for this sponsored projects training for research blah 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 contracts and grants basically I took like 11 classes in contracts and grants got a certificate at the end need to remove that little thingy and I went to buy a frame for it at Michael's so um, so that's a, um, a certificate I'm gonna hang on the wall of my office and then um hopefully get more and more certificates there's a class I want to enroll in the financial management certificate class um, they usually I think they go by the school year so like it begins in September and you end in June so I enrolled in the June one even though you know I'll have to wait all summer to continue the classes and then I'm also interested in this other one about um, supervisory certificate program but that's a tough one it like takes I think a long time multiple days of classes and just like all kinds of workshops that's that's a tough certificate to get anyways um i just i think it's really good for my resume and um work experience and professional development to take these classes and to enroll in things so personally it's something that i'm really into and um this is my first certificate well i had this one crappy certificate i got it was a performance manage performance management online classes and the certificate they gave you at the end it's this tiny little thing i printed it out and it looked awful and i taped it to my wall anyways because i was like i took these classes i'm taping this ugly thing on my wall but now this um is like a proper certificate signed by the director of sponsored projects cora diaz so um it's better and then i can start i can start collecting certificates and all kinds of stuff and stick them on my wall and then and then feel like yes yes this is awesome <laughs> and put it on my resume of course too so anyways I'm glad I got that certificate and I just got it like on Tuesday or Wednesday and then I was like oh, I need to frame it so um, yeah I'm not really sure what I'm up to this afternoon what I'm gonna be doing um, I'm gonna eat lunch and then figure it out 
making some guacamole right now. I actually had three avocados that were delivered to me with Thursday's box, but um, two of them have already gone bad. They were all spotty on the outside. Then I opened up them up and they're mushy and gross on the inside. There was just one avocado that still looked good. It kind of sucks because, you know, it arrived on Thursday and I just had, you know, I didn't want to make the guacamole or use them yet. And by Monday, you know, I had to toss two of them. Um, which is something I don't like about that farm box sometimes when it goes by quick. Um, so this is the recipe I use. It's just guacamole. I don't know. It's this recipe from allrecipes.com. And you're supposed to use three avocados, but I just used one. I used half of a lime, which is really hard actually to juice a lime. I have this little juicer thing, but it's, I don't know, it's hard to get liquid out of it. Salt, I skipped the onion, some cilantro, I skipped the tomatoes. I don't really like tomatoes and guacamole, some garlic, and then no cayenne pepper. So I kind of picked and chose what I want from the recipe. And now I just need to um, get a fork and like mash it all up avocado all mashed up. It looks a little gross, but <laughs> there's the guacamole. So I'll try that. And then tonight for dinner, I don't know. I still have that recipe for the roasted beets and sweet potatoes, but I'm not sure if I want to make it. I still have leftovers in the fridge. I have um, the leftover beef and broccoli from Saturday night. I still have some spaghetti meatballs from last week. The chicken's like about a week old. I don't know if I should throw it away or what. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I just still have like some leftovers and stuff and I'd rather eat those and then make something new once um, the fridge has been cleared out a bit. So yeah, so I think this might just be it for me today. Um, yeah, tomorrow I think I'll be looking a lot nicer. <laughs> Cause I've got my meeting at work so I'm planning to wear that black dress. Um, I showed it in a past video and on Instagram this is a black dress from anthropology with lace i just got it in the mail on friday i had three gift cards that i used on it plus my birthday 15 percent discount so i just stacked it all up to get a better price um yeah so i bought that black dress with the lace and stuff and then i'm gonna wear some heels some spanks do my makeup try to do something with my hair i don't know anyway so i just want to look nice for tomorrow's uh, meeting at work what a contrast from this weekend where i'm kind of bumming it anyways um thank you so much for watching and i hope that you had a good memorial's day take care